So this is um, Aether, our near space project. We send capsules like this up into um, near space, near 100,000 feet. So this year we'll be launching our second Aether capsule. Uh, it's going to be going up to hopefully about 107,000 feet was what our estimated height was. Here are the basics of an Aether launch. After the Aether capsule is released, the balloon begins to gain altitude. As atmospheric pressure drops, the balloon expands. When it simply cannot stretch anymore, the balloon pops, dropping the Aether capsule back to Earth. As the atmosphere thickens, the chute deploys and slows the capsule for a safe landing. This is actually Aether 1, the first Bryant High School uh, near space project we've done. One of the big problems we had with the first Aether was that it's really cramped inside, so we didn't have a whole lot of space for all the radio and the GPS unit and the camera we sent up actually, in fact, I don't know if you can see, but here in the center there's a camera spot. If you notice, Aether 1 is covered in this foil material, which is really great for insulation. The only problem is with the radio and GPS, the signals can't get through, so we weren't able to track it as accurately as we liked. So with the next Aether, we plan to just get more space inside this interior. And we actually looked at only putting foil up halfway so we can have the radio and stuff on the top so the foil doesn't block the transmission. This year, 2015, we've come out with the second Aether. It is an intelligent base capsule. Uh, we've got a lot more tech on board this year. There's been many different um, improvements, upgrades that we've made to try to actually get more information and understand a little bit more about where we're going. This is the Aether 2. This is what's inside. We're going to send it up about 100,000 feet in the air. We're going to get some nice uh, pictures and footage of space and all the uh, little things that are in it. We've added an actual side pod over here that actually holds a GoPro and that will be facing upwards. It has two GoPros. One facing up to catch the, uh, the balloon burst and another one facing down um, just to get downward shots and we'll have the, uh, the cannon on the side to do still shots. We'll be shooting uh, side up and down views through the whole time of the flight. That we did not have on Aether 1. This year we've incorporated the second deck. We've got the bottom tray and we've got the top tray. As you can see, we have a 3D printed plate and I was responsible for 3D printing the top tray here. <laughs> we've got the flight computer, we've got the GPS, the UAV tracker, we've got the data logger. On the first base and the bottom base. That'll be getting uh, light readings and temperature readings. Like I said, gather more information about near space. We've also cut out this foil from the bottom layer for the top so that our GPS can get good signals and that we can retrieve all the data that is necessary. And hopefully we'll be able to track it in real time this year. Our tracking slash GPS is our APRS um, tracker where it's gonna be pinging every two minutes um, all over the towers in Arkansas. To see our feedback, altitude, where it's out, locations, so we can find it, go right straight to it. That's an awesome project in aerospace. Trying to constantly improve um, what we've done in the past. There we go, that's the basics. Cool. Yep. All right, good deal. Oh, do we yeah! have the... Anything else? Are we ready to go, Nick? I'm ready. Oh, God. I'm ready. ready. Dude, I don't know. I don't know.